morning. Welcome to today's live class. Hello. Do I have some of you out there with me right now? Okay, well, I'll just, uh, I'll just kind of uh, wait another moment or two and let me just grab my music and we'll get started in just a moment. Uh, so bear with me and I'll just go grab my music over here. Oh, we'll stall just a moment longer. All right, so good morning again. My name is Rebecca Zostek, Certified Health Coach, Personal Trainer, and Fitness Instructor here at our beautiful Hope Health Center in Foothill Ranch, California, with our lifestyle program. So welcome everyone. If you are new to our channel here, thank you so much. Please do make sure you subscribe to our channel. Uh, and when you hit that subscribe button, you also want to hit the little bell. There's a series of three different bells, the bell on the top, that's the one you want because that's the one that's going to give you a 30 minute notification to uh, kind of let you know that this class or lecture or cooking demo or yoga, whatever it is, is going to be coming up live in 30 minutes. So it gives you enough time to get yourself situated and just wait for that class to start or lecture or whatnot. Uh, so we are going to do our improving your stability and strength workout today. Uh, sort of a strength training, um, proprioception training, balance training, whatever you want to call it, but we're doing this training workout to help us become more mindful with our posture, our balance, our stability, all of those things that are super important. As the body starts to age, we, we start to lose muscle, right? We start to lose muscle very quickly. And when that happens, our alignment comes up, becomes you know, less stable. Uh, we become more at risk for falls and whatnot. So we wanna make sure that we are very mindful with our body, with our uh, environment, wherever we are, just keeping in mind you know, where you are moving about and making sure that your body is as stable as possible. And the more we train that, the more safe you are. So uh, we'll get started in just a moment. Just wanna make sure uh, we have everything set up that we need, a little bit of working space. Uh, just kind of move that chair out of the way, push that side table out of the way a little bit. Um, we do need something to hold onto as we train these balance drills. So a chair, a table, a desk, um, the kitchen counter, wherever you want to put, put yourself uh, so that you have something to hold onto and you're safe. Also, as I do every week in this class, we do a little bit of strength training. So we do want to put a load, some sort of load on that muscle as it's working. So of course, free weights are always ideal. Uh, a small uh, pair of dumbbells, two pounds, three pounds, um, whatever you have. Not too heavy though, okay? And then um, if you don't have weights, that's perfectly okay. Uh, you can work through the motions without any weights at all. Um, other options are bottles of water, uh, a couple of cans from the cabinet there in the kitchen, uh, whatever you have that can put a little bit of load on those arms as we're working through some motions there. All right, so we're gonna get warmed up, first of all. Um, make sure too that you are hydrated. Those muscles have some you know, good hydration and we're gonna get going. So let me start our music and let's see who I have now. Thank you everyone for coming on. Okay, everybody's ready, right? So let's warm up a little bit and uh, get ourselves ready to go. All right. I hope you're having a great morning. So far, so good. Yes. Up you go. Everybody's standing, yeah? Okay. Let's march it out nice and wide with the legs. March it out right here. Okay. Nice and easy. Now, if I'm moving too fast, take your time. You don't have to, you know, keep the same pace as me, but I'll keep the pace, you know, kind of going here, this level. Hands on your waist. And all you're going to do here is a side tap, side to side. Just like that, nice and easy. Good. Let's go back to the march. Bringing your legs now a little bit closer together. There you go. March it out, march it out, get that heart rate up. All right, next one, hands back on the waist. And we go, heel, heel. Okay, just like that, nice and easy. All right, so let's add on to this, just getting a little bit more warm. We're gonna go three heels on your left, right now. Three, 
two, one. March, march. Three, two, one. March, march. Yes, got it. One, two, three. Those of you that like to do a little more dancing, you can add a little groove to it. Whoops, too many marches. Okay, that's enough. Let's march it out right here. Nice job. Legs nice and wide. And hold it down right here. Just a itty bitty squat and right back up. Itty bitty, very small. Down and up. Down and up. Ah. Good job. Now, as you're doing the squat now, we don't want to put that weight in the knees, right? We just want to sink down a little bit and right back up. Sink down and come back up. Now, hold it down right here. Legs are soft. Bend. Take a stretch on that left side. And other side. Good. Again. And rest. Shoulder rolls back three times. And reverse. You have to remember the song, yes? Great song. Left arm across your chest, gentle stretch here. Ah, feeling good. Yes, other side. And rest. Let's clasp those hands in front of you here and round up that upper back. Hands behind, just kind of pull the shoulders back gently. There you go, nice job. Shake it out. Go back to our march. Nice, easy march. Now watch out. I'm going to move this march around. If you're not comfortable with that, stay right here. I'm going to go a one, two, three. A one, two, three. Just moving about. Now, be aware of your stepping. This is a little bit more than what we've done before. Good. And march in place. Okay, everyone, nice job. Nice big inhale, step down on those legs, and exhale. One more time. And exhale. Good job. And staying right there. Let's turn down the music now. That was great. Good job there. Okay, let's get started now. We have some blood flow happening in the legs. They're pretty warm now, and we're going to get started with some balance drills. So remember, if you are new to this class, we start off usually most of the time with balance drills, working through you know, our posture, practicing standing on one leg, moving about standing on one leg, and um, any time that you feel that you need to set one foot down and kind of reset, please do that. You know, you're gonna feel the supporting leg starting to get a little heated, it might burn a little bit, it's getting tired of supporting the body weight. So, Go ahead and put both feet down, move your feet about a little bit, and then get back to it if you would like to. All right, so let's go ahead and start. You're starting on your left foot. Your left leg is slightly bent, slightly bent. There's a give in the leg, okay? But the most important thing that we want to concentrate really uh, when we're practicing a balance is posture. Very, very important that we keep our spinal alignment nice and long and have that neutral alignment going through your spine there. So what does that mean? We want to make sure that the shoulders aren't curving forward. Sometimes we lose sight of that and we forget, right? So we want to pull the shoulders back and we want to keep the hips from protruding outwards. We want to kind of tuck them forward a little bit. And that means we also want to engage the core area. So we're always thinking that the, the uh, belly area, okay, that we'll call it the belly area, is always pulling in, it's contracting, it's always working, okay? So that's gonna help us out quite a bit. Yes, quite a bit. All right, so let's talk about the posture here for just one moment before we get started. And I know I've talked about this a few times, so this is for all of you that are new. Our shoulder blade bones, those two flat bones, big flat bones back there, I want you to think about pulling them together and then spreading them apart. So we have retraction, we're pulling them up together, and then protraction, and then we're pulling them apart. Okay, so pull them together, stay right there. 
Relax your shoulders, but stay right there. That's what we want throughout the whole class. Good. We can do it. Okay. Shoulder blades are squeezing together. Yes. Chest is open. Here we go. Left leg slightly bent. Okay. We have all of this. We're set to go. You're going to pull up your right knee up and down. So it's going to come up and down. Now, hold on to that chair or that support, whatever you have, and practice. See if you can hold it up for just a few seconds longer and then bringing it down. Tap the floor. Go right back up. Okay, good. No problem. You have it. Stay tight in the core. Remember, we're pulling it in. Shoulder blades are together. Ah, uh, yeah, one more, one more. Hold it here. How's that bottom leg doing? Hold on there. See if we can get the arms out for a long stretch and hold it. Three, two, one. And coming down, march it out. Okay, very nice. We felt the work happening in that left leg, right? It's supporting everything, so it's starting to get really tired. So when you start to feel that burn a little bit, please do go ahead and take a little break and come back to it. All right, here we go with the other side. Shoulder blades together, chest lifted, abs tight. Check, check, check. We have it all. Oh, do we have the leg bent too? Okay, we got that. And here we go, everyone. So it comes up, tap back, up, Good job. So practicing your posture here. Okay, accentuate it. Make it bigger. Make it something that you can really feel that you're working on. Okay, good. Up. Breathing. Making you work today. We're practicing. Give me two more. Here we go. Up. And now you're going to hold it up right here. Hold it up. See if we can extend the arms. If you don't feel safe, hold on, please. And four, three, two, one. One, and coming down, march it out, march it out. Okay, very good, that was tough. Well, we're gonna keep working with these um, balance exercises. So again, anytime you need a little break, please take it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna come up for that balance. You're gonna bring the foot down in front. You're gonna bring it back up and down. And then guess what, we're gonna change legs. Oh, okay, we're gonna change legs. It gets a little tricky. Watch out. So first of all, let's set ourselves up. The feet are underneath the hips in line with the shoulders. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, got it. Chest up and open. I'm gonna keep telling you that. I'm gonna keep reminding you. Okay, shoulders back. And you're gonna lift your right knee. So we're gonna lift the right knee up. Everything shifts to the left. Balance, tap over, bring it up and down, other side. So if my weight shifts now a little bit over your right foot, up, tap, up, and down. Okay, keep practicing. Here we go. Up, cross, up, down. Now, if you feel that you are not able to bring the knee up very high, it's okay, you can come up a little bit. Doesn't have to be high. But as we get stronger and we get more confident, okay, your uh, level goes up a little bit. Try to bring the leg up higher and higher each time. Up, cross over. Up and down. Belly's tight. Up, good, good. Shoulders back. Let's try four more. Here's one. And down. And two. Got it. One more each side. Up. Great job, almost done. And last one. Good, and rest. Oh, march out those legs a little bit. A little active recovery. Nice job, everybody. Okay, so uh, practicing those types of exercises are really fantastic. You can do those every day if you'd like. And you know, it keeps you mindful on posture and activating the core as well so that you are uh, working on that stability. The next thing we want to work on are um, our hips. Yes, we always, always work on the hips. The hips are your major stabilizers. Super important to keep that mobility strong and flexible. And we want to practice um, standing on one foot, working through the hips. Okay, enough said. So here we go. We're standing on one leg. And um, one more tip, everyone. One more tip. I have to give you these tips because it's important that we're not leaning into the hip here. Okay. 
We want to have a straight line across our belly from hip bone to hip bone. Okay, so think about a straight line. Lift up that opposite side so we have a straight line from hip bone to hip bone. Yes, that's important. Okay, now your right leg is slightly bent and we're going to lift the leg out to the side and right back down. That's all we're going to do. We're just going to do five to start, okay? So you're holding on to your chair. We have that straight line. And here we go. It's five. And down. And four. Good job. Three. Two. And one. There it is. And march out those legs. Okay? We're going to do the other side. I'm just going to... Um, Use my chair here to the other side, but you, all you need to do is turn the chair around. Okay, here we go. Other side, standing tall, straight line through the hips, from hip bone to hip bone. And we lift the leg to the side. One, so it's slightly bent. And two, shoulders back, belly's tight. Three, good. Four. And five. And rest. Oh, what was the point of doing five, right? Five is great because we're starting to make the body think about um, possible more work coming. <laughs> yes, it starts to like make these adaptations. So you, well, you did five, so you might be doing more next time. So we're gonna help that body be prepared and uh, provide more stability. Yes, so that's what we're gonna do. But we're gonna add a little bit more to this movement, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to lift out five. I always give you a little preview, okay? We're going to lift out five, and then we're going to straighten the leg, and we're going to lift out straight leg for five. Yes, we can do it. Are you ready? Okay. Standing tall. Here we go. And it's out to the side. Five. Working on that hip. Four. Exhale, three. Holding on to that chair if you need to. Two. One. Now here comes the straight leg, and lift out five. Abduction. Push away, two, three, watch out, I'm gonna add on a little bit, four, and hold it up, hold it up, right here, hold it up, stand tall, hold it up, see if we can let go, arms out to the side, and hold, two, three, and four, and rest, Woo. march it out, good job, you did fantastic on that one, and now we're gonna do the other side. So we have, when we're doing the bent leg, it's a short lever. It's not as much work for the hip, right? It's a short lever, it's a modified position, you did five. And then suddenly, you know, the hip is warmed up, it can take more now, so it has a long, longer lever to work with. That means more work for the hip, okay? So we have five short, five long. You can always do the entire set with the long leg if you prefer. Now I tell you, I always wait till the second set to tell you. Okay, here we go, everybody. Bent leg for five, four, three, good, push away, two, ready, one, straight leg now, push back, five, get it up there, four, three, hold on if you need to, good, and you're gonna hold it up right here, hold it up for four, and three, two, and one, and coming back. A little march right here, a little active recovery. All right, we're gonna do some alternating knee lifts coming up now, again, holding onto your chair if you'd like to, or you can put your hands on your waist, um, or just have them by your side. So whatever you like, I'm gonna start with my hand on the chair, and I'll change that as I go, okay? So we're gonna do some alternating knee lifts, standing tall, belly's tight, and it's an up, down, up, down. Nice high march, sort of, kind of. Okay, and now I'm going to let go. I'm going to bring my hands to my waist here. Okay, up, down, up, down. Everything is active. Everything is holding on tight. The belly is contracting. The shoulders are pulling back. Three. Oh, we'll do one more here on your right. And rest. Okay, shake out those legs. Great work, everybody. Let's give the legs a little bit of a break, and we're uh, going to go to the upper body with some weights, okay? Uh, so with the weights, of course, I'm going to add a little bit of balance work. 
We're going to do both arms because we're running out of time already. I don't know where the time goes. So what we're going to do is I'll show you some different variations. We're going to start with your left foot out in front of you on the heel. Okay, so this should already be giving you a little bit of, you know, balancing to work on here. Okay, with one foot out in front. The next option would be to lift it up a little bit. Okay, if you're able to do that. It's up to you. I'm going to keep the heel on the floor for right now. Your arms are by your side with the palms up. We're going to do a double pump. So you're going to come up, pump, pump, down, slow. So yes, my elbow, my elbow just cracked. <laughs> up, up, and down. Now, as we're doing this, I want you to concentrate on a nice squeeze in the biceps. And notice how the elbows stay back. The elbows are not moving up away from me, okay? So we don't want this. We want the elbows to stay back. Stay back elbows. Good. Pump, pump, and down. And pump, pump, and down. Good job. And rest. Okay. So it's pretty easy keeping the heel down, right? And we'll change it up in a little bit, everyone. We'll change it up. But here we go with the other side. And this time now we're going to have the arms coming up into a shoulder press. So you have your right foot out in front of you on the heel. Your arms are here in front of you. Okay, palms facing each other. You're going to push both arms up and down. That's all it is. Just a nice push up and down. Now, if you uh, you know, have some shoulder concerns, you don't want to do this. Okay, you don't have to. You can do a hammer curl. All right, or if you would like to do one arm at a time that's a little less load, you can do that. Okay, but let's keep this going for four, three, I know my elbow keeps cracking, two, <laughs> and one, and rest. Good, walk out those feet. Okay, our next round, the same thing now with the bicep curl, but this time we're gonna stand on one foot. Okay, so one foot or you have the heel against the floor. So whichever you prefer, one foot off the floor, palms up. You ready? Let's go. Up, down. Now another option here is to just, um, you know, keep the toes against the floor here. If you need that little bit of help, okay, you can, you, you can even go up and down. Breathe it out. So exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Good job. And rest. We're forcing that standing leg to really activate, turn on all those muscles, trying to support your body weight. That's what we want. Okay, the other side. You're standing tall, belly's tight. So you're either Toes, having your toes against the floor, leg up or heel down, wherever you want to be. Okay, arms here, and here we go. It's lifting up and down. Inhale, exhale, okay? Good, keep working on that balance. Belly's tight, Ooh, if I have to tap the floor there to catch my balance, then we have to do that. Keep going, let's try two more. Up. And two. Good. And that's enough there. Go ahead and march out those feet. March out those feet. Great job, everyone. So the next exercise set I'm going to have you do is we're going to uh, use one weight. And we're going to sort of alternate some backside muscles, legs and arms. Okay. So what we're going to do is you're going to be standing against your chair here. Take one leg back. So this is my right leg and my right arm. First of all, I'm going to do a back leg lift. So I'm going to hold up and bounce. Just trying to lift the leg off the floor, or the foot off the floor. Okay? So we're going to lift it up, up and down. Up and down. So if you feel secure enough to let go of the chair, okay, I have my left hand on my waist, and I'm holding that weight to kind of counteract this movement. And you're lifting. Four more. Three. Two. One. Set the foot down. 
And now left hand back on the chair. Your right arm is going to lift up and down. Okay, so you're pulling the elbow up, right there back behind you, and back down. So this is a upper back trapezius or trapezius muscles. Okay, lifting up. So this is a great exercise to help you become more aware of your upper back muscles. Okay, keeping that shoulder girdle up uh, in a nice posture position also. Let's try four. Exhale, three, two, one. Okay, a little tip when we're doing that exercise or really any kind of weight training exercise is that we use good control and we start to you know, feel the muscle actually working. Sometimes that takes some practice. So rather than just lifting the arm up and down and not having that control, we're not really getting anything out of that. So what we want to do is go slow and really try to concentrate on that muscle doing the work itself. So that muscle is pulling your elbow up, your arm up, and controlling the movement as it comes down. So that takes practice again, but the slower you go, the better, okay? Let's try the other side. So let me just maneuver my chair here, other side. And now it's your left leg back. You're holding the weight in your left hand. Right leg is slightly bent, so we're going to lift and lower, and lift and lower. Holding on to your support. If you don't need to, you can have the arm out to the side, okay, or on your waist, whatever feels better to you. And also gives you a little bit of a challenge, okay. Let's try three more, and three. Two and one. Good. And hold. So here we go now with our back exercise. And coming down, here we go. Pull the elbow up. One. Exhale, two. Now, if you would like to use both of your weights, you can always do that too. Okay, give you a little bit more work. Good. And it's nice and slow. Squeeze into that muscle. two more here and one nice job and rest good good everybody good work all right so next I'm gonna have you um, this is more strength exercise not so much balance involved but we're gonna work on a little bit of leg strength okay because we need leg strength when we are uh, working our balance and we want better stability we need to develop more strength in the legs very, very important. So this is a great way to do uh, some leg strengthening exercise without having to you know, stand and do a, do a squat rather. But we're gonna do a standing, uh, I can't talk this morning, a stand up and sit down squat from the chair. Okay, so I'll show you what we're gonna do here. The weights actually help to counterbalance you, your body so that you can come up a little bit easier. But let me show you first. So first of all, we want the legs nice and wide, and you want to be sitting right at the edge of your seat, okay? So we don't want to sit all the way back. We're sitting tall with a nice long spine. You're going to have your weights down by your side. So gravity is going to kind of help pull on those weights as you're leaning forward and then pushing through your heels to lift your bum off the seat, okay? So lean forward, nice long spine, and push into the heels as you stand. Coming right back down, you're going to aim for your, your seat, okay, and sitting tall. Yes, let's try a few. So leaning forward, weights by your side, keep your chest up, push the heels into the floor and rise straight up, and coming right back down. Okay, if you have questions about this or any other exercise, please let me know in the comments, and push up, and right back down. Okay, and lean forward, lean forward. Make sure your knees are not going over your toes and the heels are not lifting. Want those heels, we want those heels to actually be pressing into the floor. You wanna feel them push down as you lift your rear off the seat. Push your heels down and rise up. Good, and come down. Let's try two more. 
Lean forward, up you go. And coming back down. One more, lean forward, lean forward, push the heels. Good, and coming back down. Nice job. All right, so as we're sitting here now, I'm gonna have you do one more exercise with the legs for leg strengthening. We're gonna keep your weights right on top of your thighs here, and all you're gonna be doing are some knee uh, lifts with a kick. So, I'll show you here. Make sure you're sitting at the edge of your chair, nice long spine. You're gonna do a knee lift here. We're gonna kick the leg out and bring it down on the other side. Now, I'm holding my weights like this, but you don't need to. You can keep them down this way. And lift and extend and bring it back, other side. Knee up, extend. Notice here too that I am flexing my foot so the toes are pointing up, okay? So up, extend, bring it back and down. Kick out, let's try four more. Lift up, kick out, super great exercise. We're getting that leg strength in the quadriceps. All right, one more. And rest. All righty, up off the chair now. Up off the chair, everybody. Good work. So just a little bit there to show you what you can do to help strengthen those thighs. I'm gonna show you one more here. So this is your wide squat position. This is such a great exercise for getting the inner thighs also the glutes and the quads. So we're gonna take those weights here in front of our body. We're gonna dip down a little bit. We're gonna hold it here. We're gonna come up for a bicep curl, and then we're gonna stand, okay? So we come down, bicep curl, and up you go. Down. Good. And down. Okay, come down. Working on legs and upper body. Working on some strength here. Let's try two more. Down, pull up, and last one. Good, and rest. Okay, setting those weights down. Very nice job. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale, reach for the ceiling, and coming down. And again, nice big inhale, and down. Good, legs out nice and wide, nice side stretch here. And other side. Good, clasping the hands in front and round out that upper back. Drop your head. Good, and release. You're gonna face your chair or your desk, take one leg back. This is a gentle calf stretch here. So you notice I have my leg, my back leg bent. Okay, pushing the heel back. So you should be feeling the stretch right along the calf muscle. And other side. Good, and center. And back to this nice wide position. Arms coming up and exhale down. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. So many different things that we do in this class to help you with your balance and stability. So please do join me next week, uh, Wednesday, 9 a.m. for this live class. You can always go back to the playlist also uh, under the exercise classes in the playlist and go back to any of those workouts that I've done for you uh, over the past couple of years. So go ahead and enjoy. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, everyone.